Hi, welcome to We Reviewed It. Today I'm going to unbox and review the Selectec portable Bluetooth speaker. This is Bluetooth 4.0. Straight away we'll have a quick look around the box. It comes in a really stylish box. As you can see the top of it has got Selectec portable Bluetooth speaker. On this side of the box it tells you if you need any assistance how to contact them. And the base of the box it's got the product specification. It's a model SBT606. It's Bluetooth version 4.1 on the bottom of the box, not 4.0. Input 5 volts and 0.5 amps. It's made in China. As you can see it really is a nice stylish box. So we'll open up the box. I've just got some sellotape seals there, but it is nice and stylish. Here we go. It's a nice some foam on top to protect it. I'll take the foam out. Oh, it does look nice, does this? Let's we'll see how we unpack this. Oh, the well, there, as you can see, the speaker is really well protected. There's a nice piece of foam padding there to protect the speaker. They, they are really protecting the speaker there in transit. And in the bottom of the box, we've got the cables. I'll just get these out and the instructions and get rid of the box now. So inside the box we've got the speaker, we've got an audio cable and we've got a micro USB charging cable and of course the user manual. We've got the user manual, so a quick look through the user manual. How to recharge, how to use NFC. Also, I forgot to mention before, the speaker has also got NFC with it. And of course, a built-in microphone as well. On the top, a stylish speaker grill with Selectec logo painted on. We'll have a look at the back. The audio auxiliary port, on and off switch. The charging port for the micro USB and of course the built-in microphone. On this side, it's got the NFC. And on the base, it's got the Selectat logo, portable Bluetooth speaker, product number again, and just the technical specs on the bottom. And that's a nice look around the speaker. We'll switch the speaker on and we'll pair it up to my iPhone. Power on, pairing. Oh, love that. I love that power on pairing. Just wait for it to show up on my iPhone. And there it is there, SPT606. I'll click that. Parent success. Thought connected. So we'll just take a look at the controls on the speaker and we'll start from the left hand side. We've got the minus volume button and go back to the beginning of the track. We've got the play, pause, end and take a call button and you've got the volume up, down and forward to next track button. Got real, so it's really simple controls on the front. I'll just bring over my iPhone and we'll switch it on. Power on, pairing, thought connected. I just love her voice. <laughs> I just, just love that. So we've got that on and we'll press play. I'll turn it on its side so you can see better. Pause. Play. Volume down. Min volume. That's minimum volume. Min volume. Max volume. Max volume. To skip to the next track, you long press. To go back a track, you do a long press. Please note that all music being played is royalty free music 
and I have purchased the rights to use this from jewelbeat.com. Really simple. It sounds really good does this speaker. It's got a real rich sound to it. Obviously the video is not going to pick up sound quality and you're not going to benefit from the sound quality but trust me for such a small speaker it really does give a full rich sound and this would be great in the kitchen living room bedroom be great for holidays caravans that type of thing tents you know it's just a real good portable bluetooth speaker and it's so easy to use and you've just got to love the voice power it off power it on pairing thought connected it pairs up it connects to your phone really quick and you're off <laughs> Excellent. Absolutely brilliant. It's a real good quality sound. One thing I have found when messing around with the speaker, and it's very easy to actually do this by mistake, so I'm going to show you now how to change the language on the on the speaker, because you can change it very easily to Chinese without realising. So what you do is you, you press the volume plus button and you tap. And it's now in Chinese. Still got a very nice voice in Chinese. English mode is selected. So to change the language, it's press the plus button and tap the play button twice. English mode is selected. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you liked what you've seen. If you have and you would like to see more, please like, share and subscribe. Till the next time, TTFN.